consciousness the city generates is always centered around the drama of the human condition. There is a volatile and passionate edge to events in the city. And Calcutta has been termed by many as the city of processions. Calcutta represents essentially and truly the spirit of resistance to injustice and wrong and the fight to rectify or defeat injustice and wrong. We have been critical about our predecessors. We have, in the process, we have developed our own ideas about the politics that rules Calcutta. And uh, in a way, it is a kind of hereditary acquisition, the political passion which you talk about. The political passion finds manifestation in the graffiti painted on the walls of the streets of Calcutta. For most political parties, the space for these political advertisements are booked well in advance. And in spite of intense rivalry, the party workers seldom trespass into the domain of their enemy. Politics, as well as political events, are legitimate motives shaping creative endeavors. The involvement is not just with the immediate human surrounding. Calcutta's protest articulates concerns for happenings all over the world. এখানকার কলেজের ছাত্র সে নিজেকে বিশ্ব নাগরিক বলে মনে করে সে যেন মনে করে সারা পৃথিবীর সমস্যাটা তার মাথায় রয়েছে সে নিকারাগুয়ায় কি হচ্ছে ভিয়েতনামে কি হচ্ছে আঙ্গোলায় কি হচ্ছে তাই নিয়ে সে খুব চিন্তিত আরেকটা জিনিস আছে কলকাতায় যে তারা যদি কোনো কজকে বিশ্বাস করতে পারে দে ওয়ান্ট আইডিয়ালিজম দে ওয়ান্ট কজ দে ওয়ান্ট সামথিং টু বিলিভ ইন সেটা যদি তাদের দেয়া যায় তারা সবসময় ট্রিমেন্ডাস ওয়ান্ট নিয়ে এগিয়ে আসে is no doubt a non-violent struggle. But even a non-violent struggle demands an army, an organization, and a machinery. India is going to be free, and that we, only today, are going to play a part in making India free. One historical symbol 
which crystallizes as Calcutta's political metaphor is Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Netaji's role in the freedom movement has the tone and tenor of a great saga. What has characterized Calcutta and Calcutta's common man is this spirit, this spirit not to compromise with injustice and wrong. And I think the best symbol, the best embodiment of this spirit was Shuhash Chandra Bose. In recent times, critics have directed anguished complaints at Calcutta's civic amenities, stressed beyond point of endurance. The situation has been aggravated, partly by the continuous inflow of migrants which Calcutta seems to attract almost magically, absorbing these debutant citizens ungrudgingly. Many come, but few seem to leave. The overcrowded buses or the flooded streets with the first monsoon shower does not make life easy. Yet it is the conquest of this adversity, this inherent ability to overcome cynicism, that seems to give Calcutta its stamina. Kolkata <laughs> আমার মনে হয় তাতে জীবনের প্রতি তার অত্যন্ত বিদ্রোহশ্রদ্ধ হয়ে যাওয়ার কথা যে সাধারণ একটা কেরোসিন জোগাড় করার জন্য তাকে 2 ঘন্টা লাইনে দাঁড়াতে হয় সেই লোকটাই কিন্তু সুন্দরবনে গিয়ে একটা থিয়েটার দেখার জন্য আবার 2 ঘন্টা লাইন দেয় ঠিক এই ধরনের মানুষ অন্য কোথায় পাওয়া খুব মুশকিল যে আকি লোক কেরোসিন তেলের জন্য 2 ঘন্টা লাইন দিয়ে থিয়েটারে যায় লাইন দিচ্ছে देयर ইজ স্টিল দ্যাট ফায়ার উইদিন কলকাতা উই সব ইয়ার থিয়েটার ইন आवर কালচার সেটা কখন বুঝতে পারি যখন দেখতে পাই যে ধরুন আমাদের নন্দিকা রাজজিৎ ন্যাশনাল থিয়েটার ফেস্টিভ্যাল হয় চল্লিশ ঘন্টা আগে টোরেন্সিয়াল রেইনস সারা রাত সেই রেইনের মধ্যে পাঁচশো লোক দাঁড়িয়ে আছে লাইন দিয়ে নালে টিকিট পাবে না পাঁচ টাকার টিকিট চারটে করে পাবে সেইখানে দাঁড়িয়ে থেকে তারা হাসতে হাসতে টিকিটগুলো নিয়ে বাড়ি চলে যায় একটা উৎসবের মতো বানিয়ে দেয় ফর দ্য সিটি ইজ ফুয়ার the spirit to live almost boils down to the spirit to survive. Calcutta's numerous rickshaw pullers are typical of this contradiction. The hand-pulled rickshaws, to many observers, seem old-fashioned and exploitative. However, for the average citizen of the metropolis, the rickshaw at times becomes almost indispensable. And for those who eke out a living from this profession, the compulsions of survival are paramount. The story of Akbar, a migrant from Bihar, who arrived in Calcutta as a child man 35 years ago, is typical. Trudging along central Calcutta, earning not more than 50 rupees even on the best day, the aging Akbar articulates arguments supporting the rickshaw as a breadwinning savior of the city's poor. <laughs> कलकत्ता में गरीब गरीब लोग इस, इसी से जीता है और तो नौकरी चाकरी नहीं है पढ़ा लिखा तो नहीं है बहुत आदमी जाहिल है पढ़ा लिखा रहता तो नौकरी मिलता इन कलकत्ता डिस्टिंक्टिव ह्यूमन मिलियू अकबर्स प्रोफेशन रिटरेट्स द नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिटी फ्रॉम विद इन इट्स ओन कॉन्टेक्स्ट the moment you arrive in the city, you have to arrive with a different state of mind that you must discover the city. 
it's not that you have arrived here just for a little comfort of a city, of a metropolis. You have to discover the strength of the city. I think probably only for, for that reason, so many books have been written on Calcutta. I think only city in the Asia that so many volumes have been written. Why? Because they found material. It's not flat, it's multidimensional. It's not with one shade, but with different shades. Even you'll find different shades of grey in the city, different shades of white, different shades of black. Coexisting with the rickshaw is Calcutta's most modern symbol of ground metro. This slick child of modernity cruises into aesthetically designed stations. It is an effective counterpoint to its primitive historical cousin, the tram. The sophisticated metro rail system reiterates the city's capacity to adapt, innovate and change. city, steeped in history, cast in nostalgia, and exuding memories that have helped shape its physical contours, seems today tired and grim. of its overcrowded pavements which give hospitality to faceless millions, not always celebrating the best of human conditions. To some, it is this provocation which allows Calcutta to form its human connection with the visitor. Kolkata is like a poor mother who kono children ke reject karena. Somosto jayga theke, especially Eastern Bihar, Eastern UP theke, aaj jo Kolkata hai pratyek din, কতো লোক কতো জায়গা থেকে কাজের জন্য আসে আমাদের সমস্ত ডিস্ট্রিক্টেরি সাউথ ডিস্ট্রিক্ট থেকে মাইগ্রেট করে কিন্তু কলকাতায় সামহাউ সকলেরই জায়গা হয়ে যায় কলকাতা তো আমি মনে করি মেইনলি বিলংস টু দোজ পিপল এত হোমলেস পিপল এত রকম ধরনের লোক হ্যাঁ তারা ফোর স্টার পেমেন্টে থাকে সো হোয়াট দিস সিটি ডাজন্ট রিজেক্ট देम আ প্রোফাইল অফ মোস্ট অফ দ্য পেভমেন্ট ডুয়েলারস হ্যাজ আ সিমিলার রিং টু देयर লাইফ স্টোরিজ ফর ইনস্ট্যান্স লাইক রানি they left their village to come to the city in search of livelihood. Today, Rani works as a maid in the middle-class homes to support her six children. For Rani, Calcutta translates itself into food, clothing and shelter. Sunil Dutt is a photojournalist who lives in Calcutta. His sensitive photographs have over the years captured the many moods of the city. Amidst his portfolio is an impressive documentation of one person's gestures as she spreads universal love, transcendental love, of caring and sharing. His pictures capture the frail form of Mother Teresa, the Nobel Peace Prize winning Angel of Mercy, and her missionaries of charity, searching for life among the dead and the dying in the streets of Calcutta, giving comfort and solace to the orphans and the abandoned. In the process, Mother Teresa and her fellow nuns become the very emblem reflecting Calcutta's human spirit.
For the rest of India, Calcutta has always been India's magic city in more ways than one. It is, after all, the city of the Sharkars. Both P.C. Sharkar Jr. and his illustrious father, P.C. Sharkar Sr., have been synonymous with the best of magic in the country. Their performances represent the coming of age of this craft in India. P.C. Sharkar Jr. spends most of his time performing magic shows all over the world. Yet, Calcutta has for him that very special attraction. I am going to to this young magician, the magic of Calcutta is the art of the impossible, a way of finding permanent solutions to the many paradoxes of the city. As he prepares for his major show, he wishes that he could make the city's physical problems disappear just as he succeeds in helping vanish before the eyes of one and all the famous Victoria Memorial. The Dukhineshwar temple along the banks of the river Hooghly is dedicated to Kali, the fierce goddess of the Hindu pantheon. No matter who the Calcuttan may be, whether he is a famous doctor, a scientifically oriented man, a scholar, a big film star, a student, I even know um, a Chinese girl, a hairdresser, who is a devotee of Kali. Most of these people go to Kali Ghat at least once a week. They try and go to Dukhineshwar once a month and so on and um, they, they believe in Kali as the uh, reigning uh, beneficent power force in their lives. The incredible frenzy and passion which Kali worship generates in Calcutta is comparable only to the hysteria during the five days of Durga Puja. The Kali Ghat temple and the huge crowd of pilgrims it attracts every day represents the energy the city exudes. The passion and the intensity becomes the very soul of the city. The city generates passionate reactions. For those who live and create here, the city has become an extension of their work. And over the years, these artists have managed to create a personal and very intimate rapport with the metropolis. Calcutta is very militant at times. Calcutta is very docile at times and very mean at times. And this is very human. I can, I can imagine Calcutta in terms of a human being. You know, it can afford to be very mean, it can afford to be very, uh, you know, magnanimous, 
it is it's sport i've had opportunities to go away i could have lived in bombay perhaps i could have lived in delhi but uh, and i remember i stayed in bombay during the making of 36 chorangi lane for a long while for about 2 months uh, and then again in madras when i had to do the uh, dubbing and the re recording of 36 and then later in poroma in madras well i missed calcutta i missed calcutta in the same way that you miss your parents or your children if you are away from them for a long time kintu kolkata is very interesting challenging as writing material also ami jonio urboshi likhechilam eta five plays er moddhe onubado hoyeche ingrejite that's about pavement jara pavement artist jara ai dekhay jara dami dekhiye tader shonge ventriloquist kotha bole kore it has been highly appreciated onek jinish ache kolkata in the final analysis contemporary calcutta emerges as a people city its glory may be the splendid history its soul may be politics and culture but it is in the lived experience that modern calcutta finds rationale bureaucrats do not matter here industrialists nobody would bother about industrialists it is the, ultimately the masses the crowd who decide what will happen here and in that sense certainly it is a people city